Hello friends, welcome back to Mycology Exploration, a really quick video for you. I am bringing a half a brick of cocoa to filled capacity and I used my tea kettle with some clean purified water and brought that to 140 degrees which is pasteurization and then I just have my oven here, my oven top on a medium or low to medium temperature it just keeping it at 140 degrees pasteurization and so you can see a lot of people have asked us about how much water to add and we eyeball it because it's about bringing it to fill capacity the brick first and then what we do is add a tablespoon of gypsum for pH balance at this point and then we actually will add more water, more water here before the vermiculite. So this is a 50-50 cocoa vermiculite mixture. And then we'll probably use a vermiculite casing layer on top. And we bring it to 140 degrees all the way through the substrate on a pot, in a pot on the stove top. You can also use a crock pot. We used to do that and you don't want to cook it so you want to stir it when you have it on the stove top and once it all reaches 140 then we just turn off the stove top and leave it and we leave it overnight and let it cool and then move it to our buckets our tubs we use tubs to grow So again, I'll be adding this vermiculite 50-50 blend here, more water. I'll stir it, stir it, stir it. I will use a thermometer to make sure it's at 100 degrees, 140 degrees. Turn it off, let it cool overnight, and then we strain it using a pillowcase. You'll strain out all the extra water. So it doesn't matter how much water you put in it. Just enough so you can stir and get everything mixed together, an even mixture. And you'll be able to see with your eyes the 50-50 vermiculite. So I know that this is a half a brick of cocoa and it makes one tub and four jars of colonized WBS. So I have a mathematical equation for all of our mushroom growing. And so what I'll be doing is adding this vermiculite to this, a 50-50 blend. 140 degrees, let it cool, strain it with your pillowcase, and then you're ready to put it in your tub, your bags, whatever you're gonna be fruiting in. And you'll colonize after birthing your grain jars. I hope that answered some of your questions. And again, you just add as much water, purified, clean, or distilled water, and we like adding a little bit of gypsum for the pH balance so that you can stir it and mix it because you're going to strain it and a pillowcase is the best way to do that. Much love friends. We'll see you in the next video.